Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic. Now we're going to do some deep sea diving. Huzzah! Alright, so. Let's put one out here. There's only one fire suit available if you proceed through the airlock. All partners members have to stay behind until you return. Begin the airlock sequence. This is not fun. I'm in a herder suit. Herder, 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 herder. Hey, it's a survivor. Hi, buddy. There must be some crushing Who's death there? around here. You're not Cellcast, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Yeah, well, the Republic sent me down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane cell calf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The cell calf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Let's see. You wait here, I'll go check it out. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Uh, that won't wait on me there, guy. Anyways, let's go, let's go, uh, explore a bit. Okay, I came from over there. Herder, 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 herder. Like a Loompa Loompa or some garbage. Hmm, there's a pressure door. Well, I know where that goes. Things! I knew there would be things. Some frag mines, okay. Huh, there's anything in there. Alright, let's go follow our friend. At least I found a Merc who isn't completely insane. He's been down here a couple days. I'm surprised he hasn't completely lost his frickin' mind. Come on, me. Use night speed and get the heck over there quicker. Well, you know you're getting bored when you're looking for patterns in the bubbles coming out of the back of the suit. 
luckily, it's completely random, so that's kind of cool. Found the one thing. A couple of fragments. Body, you might want to wait. Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with no! ah! Yeah, it's gonna tell you. Um I just stood there and watched that happen. Sharks. There's no sharks over there. No, just, just run. I deal with those sharks. Let's see what's over this way first. This looks much safer. It looks like there's a thing over here. Nope, there's no things. Okay, well we gotta head into the sharks. Luckily I have sonic emitters. So when the sharks wanna get too feisty, I can blow them away with that. Do it. Die. Oh, good, I get to use them as much as I want. Don't you do it. You stay back. I ain't gonna put up with it. I told you I ain't gonna put up with it. Is that a shark inside the base? Oh, that's that welded door. <laughs> it welded that shark in there. Like, man, screw you, buddy. You sit there and think about what you did. Well, we'll go in here and say hi. Hi. Bones. What you doing, kitty? We'll flush you down the toilet now. Open it up. Wow, junk. But it's something I can sell. Actually, those aren't terrible items. I just don't care. Stop it. Can I get two of them? Can I get two at once? No. I got the one. Wah, wah, wah. Like I said, I'm going to flush you down the toilet. I will. Too. Okay, so we got two doors to check out. Let's check out this one first. Well, as I learned from Fantasy Star 4, left is the way to treasure. Let's see if that's still holding out. The foot locker. Oh, that's from inside. Ugh, that's from inside the building where it just was. Yeah, this is the part of the game where you kind of got to go solo for a while. So, having a character set up for good soloing is a good thing. Very, very good thing. The first time I ever came here, I actually uh, had a Jedi build for uh, blasters. So I would start these engagements with blasters, and then go freaking nuts on these guys. <laughs> Now heal. And heal. And one more time for good measure. Screw it. I still need some help. 
Your spikes, very nice. But not they. Alright. Okay, I want to know why I can't see this crap. It gives me plus two to awareness. My awareness is actually pretty freaking good, I know this. It's at 14 and I can't see crap. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in! I'll stop you! I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber! That'll stop you! Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete the pressurization. Um... 54 seconds to complete the pressurization. Oof. I got No, close. no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Silkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! I'm a friend! I'll protect you! You're both safe! I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I... I, I just panicked when I heard Liquid. someone outside the door. Me. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the Silkath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started <sighs> screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Cellcath outside the doors every once in a while, and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. You are a lot to answer for. No, no. What's the Republic doing here? We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. What happened? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Silkaths started screaming too, and they turned on us. What would the shark have to do with that? Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Kolto as a food source. And all those other Faraxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Where is this monster Faraxan now? I don't know. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. What can I do about it? The Faraxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but... They still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. 
What are you talking about? The propellant we made was supposed to drive Frax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. Well, what else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Phyraxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Phyraxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydrolium gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydrolium gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I'll destroy the harvesting machine. Kill both of you as well, huh? <laughs> uh, dumping chemicals into an environment is not a good idea. And I'm sorry, losing a few machines can be machines can be replaced. It won't take you years to get a couple more harvesters back down here, you idiot. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. You guys are dumb. No way. Something tells me that other door would have brought me in here behind them. I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I... I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Please forgive me. So scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sam. The frax and shock. The next thing we knew, our cell cat researchers started. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, must. Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. See a star map. A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Culto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe. Maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. Something happened in the ruins? We don't know. Not the work teams were outside in the rip. Okay. It was, it was bad. Bad everything. And all which would the no. But we, we, okay. well, the mom, I, if, but it's, you have one, that you, I just, God, freaking, did the whole thing again. All right. Ooh, treasures. At least I got my Jedi power all the back up. Well, hey there, guys. Disengage. Uh, 
Uh, let's do master speed. Yeah! Come on, have at me! <laughs> and that's how you kill a bunch of people quickly as a Jedi. You almost don't even need flurry. Breathe mask, tractility shield, stuff. Outside. Dirt, 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 dirt. Wait, no, I'm gonna go around the other side. Dirt, 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 because that's where I went in the other way. Okay. Dirt, dirt, dirt. These swords are so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not even using lightsabers in my freaking Jedi. I mean, screw lightsabers. They freaking shit. Alright, let's quick save. This door. And we're gonna try to finish up a nod today. Oh crap. With me. Hey, you get away. No, stop, stop it. Go ahead and bounce over here quick. Check out this door. Oh, hey guys. Okay, so that just took me back to where I was going, anyways. Harvesting control success. If you'll take pressure control. At four million Sengen, pressure would rupture containment fuel pod. Uh huh. when he's balancing it. He wanted to hit 4 million. So let me see. If I... Dump container pod. Transfer. Wait a minute, I got it, I got it, I got it. Fill them both, okay. No. Dump the injector pod. Transfer. 
Dump the injector pod. Okay. So pressure status set. Two and five. Okay, now. Transfer. Warning, warning! Danger, Will Robinson, danger! Oh, movie! Whoa! Shabooms! Okay. I did a bad thing, everyone. Fifteen our experience. Let's move out. Sea beast. That is a big one. Now that the cult of harvesting machine has been destroyed, the great fraction shows no signs of hostility it allows you to pass. That is a big one. Hey, it's the star map. So how the heck did Revan and Mount get down here the first time? You know, a few years ago when they or didn't have this base down here? the in-game cutscenes look better than the freaking full motion video ones. Alright. We did a good thing. We gotta get out of here now. Yeah, Manon. That tough of a place. Let's go talk to the scientists first, and then we'll get out of here. So I can let Liquid listen to Liquid freaking complain about things. Hey guys, I did it. I did the thing. I saw what happened on the camera, and I can't believe what you did. How could you willfully destroy the Colto harvesting machinery? That'll set us back years! I'll have you know that when we get back to the surface, I'll have the Republic do a full inquiry into your actions. Now go back to the surface and get the Republic to send a real rescue team down for us. You're welcome. We saw what you did out there on the cameras. Destroying the machinery was the right thing to do for everyone. That creature, the giant Fraxen shark, the guardian of the Colto or whatever it was, seems to have calmed down a lot. It may even be safe to go outside now, but we'll stay here and wait for the Republic rescue crews. Thank you for not making a huge mistake. Ha ha, Liquid. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Let's get back to our ship and get up to the surface. Da -da -da -da. Stop. Why can't I move? What did I do? Did I do a thing? No. Stop. Stop. Ooh, game. No, there's a. Hey. Why? What? 
What's this thing doing? It was like auto running. What the heck? Okay, well, no more screwing around. Let's just get out of here. So we just auto walk over there and just do it. You darn fool game. How dare you? See? Hey, level ups, especially for HK. Uh, demo feet. Mm, we can get master sniper shot. That's a thing I wanted because it means more chances to stun enemies. And Bastila, you got stuff. Oh, yeah, go ahead with that. Feats. Working on her flurry. Hmm. Let's get her this, get her some more hit points, cause uh Yeah. That'll definitely help her out. Oh, and now she's got master speed. Boom. Now she ain't so bad. Yes. Not that she was ever really bad. Why everybody keeps giving her so much crap? Buddy, can you get through the door? Let me get the door open. Hang on. I hit it, dude. Come on, these are like the best swords ever. Can I flurry this door? Come on, you can do it. You got this. Again, come on, you can do it. You get the strength of a fire giant. Let's go. Here. Come on. Here. There you go, Troy. Okay, exit is due north. Search is over. Oh, crap. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty that my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. And that'll have to wait until next time. Catch you later, everyone.